Hello my dear students, take my heart. I hope you all are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. My little brothers and sisters, I welcome all of you with the Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy and blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala behold on all of you. Today the topic is class 2 elementary mathematics and in this tutorial we will try to solve all the questions all the maths which is mentioned in page number 75. So before solving the questions or before solving the maths we will try to show you the questions of this page. So let's get started and try to see the questions of page number 75. Dear students you can see in page number 75 the author or the writer of this textbook mentioned two types of questions. So before solving these questions you should know that whenever you will try to solve these questions you should apply the concept of addition and subtraction so how can we solve this question number one and question number two so before solving question number one i will try to read the question you can see that in the first line the author written that eva bought one hali eggs of 32 taka a packet of chanasur of 30 taka and some biscuits of 6 taka. The question to you that how much taka did she spend in the market? Dear students, you know that in my earlier lectures I was mentioned that whenever you will try to solve any types of questions, any types of maths, you should read the questions again and again so that you can collect the data from that question. Whenever you will try to solve that particular question or that particular math you will be able to solve this that question very strongly so in this question you can see that the author write this hali in italic front why because it is a bengali term and that's why the author write this hali in italic front so now we will try to solve this question so please try to collect data from here in the first line the data is eva bought one hali eggs of 32 taka a packet of chanachur of 30 taka and some biscuits of 6 taka so whenever you will try to add these three types of data the amount of taka will be increased and that is why you should apply the concept of addition in this question so how can we customize or summarize this question so let's go to the board and try to solve question number one the students in the first line you should write that it's the solution of question number one so in the first line you should write that eva bought one hali eggs of 32 taka and the next line you should write that a packet of chanazur 30 taka and then some biscuits of six taka the students you should write these numbers from your right hand side the, here you can see that the column all are in a queue and the left column is also in a queue so in the final line you should write that all together she spent so how can we find the 68 the students just try to understand that in your right hand side or in the right column you can see that 2 plus 0 is equal to 2 and then 2 plus 6 is equal 8 so in the right column you should write 8 and in the left column you can see that 3 plus 3 is equal 6 and that's why we write a 6 here so ultimately the answer of this question is all together she spent 68 taka so the answer of this question will be like that that answer is equal 68 taka and finally it is the solution of question number one the students i hope you all were able to understand the math now we will try to solve question number two but before that we will try to again go and page number 75 and then we will try to read the question the students it is page number 75 and the question number two is raju had 16 taka and his father gave him more 20 taka raju went to a shop and bought some notebooks and pens of 32 taka the question to you that how much taka is left with him the students just try to understand that raju had 16 taka and his father gave him 
more 20 taka so whenever his father gave him more 20 taka the amount of taka will be increased so whenever the number of anything will increase on that particular form or on that particular math you should apply the concept of addition but in the next line you can see that Raju went to a shop and bought some notebooks and pens of 32 taka so whenever you will try to bought something the number or the amount of the taka will be decreased and that's why in the next part or in the last part of this math you should apply the concept of subtraction so how can we customize or summarize this question number two so let's go to the board and try to solve this question number two the students you can see that solution of question number two in the first line you should write that raju had 16 taka and in the next line you should write that his father gave him 20 taka and as earlier i mentioned that because the amount of taka will be increase here and that's why you should write a plus sign here so the examiner can understand easily that you are doing a additional problem here and in the next line of this question you should write that then he had 36 taka can you guess that how can we find this 36 dear students in your right column you can see that 6 plus 0 is equal to 6 and in the next column you can see that 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so ultimately you can find a 36 taka here and in the next line you should write that he bought notebooks and pens of 32 taka and it is mentioned in the question and i was mentioned that because the amount of taka is decreasing here that's why you should write a minus sign here so now you will write that now he has four taka can you guess that how can you find this four in your right column you can see that 6 minus 2 is equal 4 and then 3 minus 3 is equal 0 so ultimately the answer of this question number 2 will be like that that answer is equal 4 taka the students I hope you all were able to understand question number 1 and question number 2 but yet if you have any types of doubts if you have any types of problems if you have any types of questions you can write me on the comment box below this video or below this class without any hesitation i will try to solve all the questions i will try to show you all the solution of your problems and i will try to clear all the doubts which you have dear students thank you very much everyone for seeing this class in the next class we will try to solve another types of topics of your textbook